Investing into dividend stocks can be a great way to generate some extra income for your portfolio. And while there's no perfect way necessarily on how to invest money, dividend investing has become more and more popular over time. In today's video, we are going to go over multiple different ways on how an investor could generate $100 per month in dividends. So first, real quick, a little bit of background on me. I'm currently 30 years old and I have been dividend investing for around five or so years. And right here on the screen is one of my actual dividend stock portfolios. I do have multiple different portfolios across multiple brokerages, but this portfolio alone is valued at around $489,000. And this portfolio generates me around $23,500 or so per year, which is right around $2,000 per month in dividend income from this single portfolio. Currently, throughout all my portfolios combined, I earn somewhere of around $6,000 plus every single month. In this video, we're going to go through multiple different ways, multiple different strategies, some of the easiest ways on how an investor can generate $100 per month in dividend income. So first, let's back up a little bit and talk about what dividend stocks actually are. So dividend stocks are shares of a publicly traded company that pay out a portion of their profits to shareholders in the form of dividends. When a company earns a profit, it can choose to reinvest the money back into the business or distribute a portion of the profits to the shareholders. Dividend stocks are companies that choose to distribute some of their profits to the shareholders. So I'm sure you've heard about growth stocks, dividend stocks, and everything else in between, but dividend stocks do pay a certain amount to their shareholders every single quarter, semi-annually, or even every single month. The amount of the dividend is typically expressed as a percentage of the share price which is known as the dividend yield. For example, guys, if a stock is trading at $100 per share and pays out an annual dividend of $4 per share, well, then the dividend yield will be 4%. Investors may choose to invest in dividend stocks for a number of reasons, including the potential steady stream of income, the possibility of capital appreciation, and the perceived stability of companies that pay dividends regularly. The reason I got so hooked on dividend investing is because I was in a position not that long ago where I came across a decent amount of money from a business liquidity event. And when I got a hold of this money, I made the decision to invest the majority of it into dividend paying companies, dividend paying stocks, because I figured why not invest this money into dividend paying stocks and ETFs that can pay me and my family for the rest of my life. It's also important to note that not all companies pay dividends, of course, and even those that do may not have a consistent dividend payout. There's a lot to learn when it comes to dividend investing. But if this is something that interests you so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So now let's go through a few different options and see what it would take to get to that $100 per month dividend goal. Because let's be real here, if you're a dividend investor, at one point, if not right now, the $100 mark of dividend income is rather significant. So right here, let's start with JEPI. This is a JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. So this is actually an ETF, it's not a single share. But JEPI does pay a pretty significant dividend. With a trailing 12-month dividend yield of 11.67%, this is definitely on the higher end. And JEPI also pays out their dividend every single month. So in order to figure out how many shares of JEPI that you would need in order to earn $100 a month in dividends, the math is as follow. JEPI currently pays out around $0.41 cents per share per month. And again, something like JEPI, the amount is going to change on a consistent basis. But just for an estimation, let's use the $0.41 cent per share per month and go off the math that way. So if we were to go into the calculator and type in $100, because that's our dividend amount goal that we want to earn every single month, you would divide $100 by $0.41 cents because that's how much one share of JEPI pays you every single month. You will get 243.9 shares of JEPI needed in order to earn that $100 per month mark. Now, JEPI is currently at $54.60 per share. So if we multiply this by $54.60, you will need to come up with $13,317.07 worth of JEPI, again, estimation-wise, more or less, in order to earn $100 a month in dividends from JEPI. Next up, let's use SCHD as an example. SCHD is a very popular dividend equity ETF that pretty much every dividend investor out there either owns of or has thought of owning of in the past. So SCHD pays out quarterly, and SCHD's dividend is going to change ongoingly again. These are only estimations. But if we use the 60 cent, which is the last announced dividend, divided by three because this is a quarterly payout and we're looking for a monthly amount, we get 20 cents per share per month, more or less, from SCHD. So if we type in $100, which is our dividend goal, divided by 20 cents, which is how much SCHD pays out per share per month, 
you would need around 500 shares of SCHD in order to earn that $100 per month dividend goal. SCHD currently costs around $73.16. So if we multiply 500 by 73.16, you would need to spend around $36,580 into SCHD in order to earn $100 per month in dividends. The last example that we're going to do is Realty Income, one of the most popular monthly paying dividend REITs in existence. Realty Income currently pays around $0.26 cents per share per month. So if we divide 100 by $0.26, cents, we would need around 384 shares of Realty Income in order to earn that $100 per month dividend goal. Realty Income is currently around $63.32 per share. So if we multiply 63.32 times 384, you will need to spend around $24,353 into Realty Income in order to earn $100 per month in dividends. So there we have it. There is a few different real life examples of how a dividend investor could get to the $100 per month from dividend investing goal. Now, like I said earlier, if you are a avid dividend investor, I think it's good to have these different goals, these different benchmarks and, and try to surpass them. Now be careful with this. Obviously do not invest into stocks and or ETFs just because they offer a large dividend. Do your own research and make sure to dig deep into a company, into a stock before you invest your hard earned money into absolutely anything. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on this video and subscribe for more. Thanks as always guys, and I'll see you in the next one.